When you think of undersized guards in the NBA, you instantly think of Muggsy Bogues or Nate Robinson. But now, a new generation of fans will always remember Isaiah Thomas. And here's why. The next thing is trying to lead a team to a championship. It sounds far-fetched right now, but making the All-Star Game sounded far-fetched to some people. Isaiah Thomas Despite an impressive collegiate career that saw him named to multiple Pac-10 teams, Isaiah Thomas struggled for national recognition. Not because he wasn't good enough, but because teams were scared of his height. For all the wrong reasons. With so many teams passing on Thomas, he fell to the final pick in the 2011 draft. There were guards in this draft that I felt like I was better than, that I outplayed, that I outworked, but the height scared them away. Isaiah Thomas When you're the final pick in a draft and have seen 59 players get selected ahead of you, nobody has any expectations of you succeeding. But at 5'10 with shoes on, Thomas had to learn not to care about other people's expectations. His only focus was on exceeding his own standards. However, when no one believes in you, it's hard to get an opportunity. Luckily, the Sacramento Kings were bad at the time of drafting Thomas. And to be honest, not much has changed in the following 10 years. I mean, they still haven't made the playoffs. That's a 15-year drought. Still, Thomas found a way to break into the Kings' rotation, quickly forming an impressive little and large partnership with DeMarcus Cousins. And Thomas quickly began to make an impact. In February 2012, Thomas became the only player to be picked 60th in the draft that was named Rookie of the Month. But that wasn't enough for the diminutive guard. He ended up being named to the All-Rookie second team and finished 7th in Rookie of the Year voting. Thomas continued to impress the Kings fan base with his scoring and playmaking ability over his three years with the team, even becoming the smallest player to record a triple-double. But his coaches and rival teams still had doubts about his size. Because no matter how many points you score or how many crazy plays you make, being 5'10 will always make you a liability on the defensive end of the floor, and coaches value that. Fans don't, but coaches definitely do. Party poopers. So midway through Thomas's third year with the Kings, the inevitable happened. Thomas got traded to the Phoenix Suns. Talk about a vote of confidence. Sure enough, Thomas quickly started to make an impression. In 46 games for the Suns, the speedy guard averaged 15.2 points. Unfortunately, Phoenix didn't trust his size, just like every team before them, and just like every team in the draft a few years before. For a small guy, he sure had a big problem. A guy scores on me and it's like, oh, he's too small, a liability. A guy scores on a 6'2 guy and it's like, that was a good shot, Isaiah Thomas. But then something amazing happened. Thomas got traded again, this time to the Boston Celtics. Over the next two years, Thomas would go on to make history, becoming known as the king of the fourth due to his scoring explosions late in games. Thomas also made two all-star teams while helping lead the Celtics to back-to-back -back conference finals in the playoffs. Unfortunately, during his final season with Boston, a hip injury derailed his final few months with the franchise, along with the tragic passing of his sister. And following another playoff exit, Thomas was traded to the Cleveland Cavaliers, ending a legendary run for the King of the Fourth. Since then, Thomas has been fighting his way around the NBA, trying to find a new team to lead towards a deep playoff run, attempting to prove that his height was never a limiting factor for his skill set. Despite his size and all those people who never believed he would make it, Isaiah Thomas is a multi-time All-Star and holds numerous records, and just recently found his way back to the NBA with the Los Angeles Lakers. But it's worth remembering that at 5'10", Isaiah Thomas had the world against him with nobody fighting in his corner. Yet, he stayed committed to success, even when nobody else thought he could make it, and proved to everyone that you can always bounce back.